Yeah. Hi guys, my name's Jerry, and I'm going to address this 3.3 volt regulator that seems to be a problem on some of the APM 2.6 versions. And what I found is a way to fix it without even taking it apart. So let's start with the symptoms. We've already got flight planner launched, so we'll plug it up. And you'll notice none of the LEDs over here are lighting up. Okay, then if we go over here to flight planner, and we'll pull this down just to make sure the comms right. We're on comm three. Hit connect. And you get this. Celebrate 31 with a regular scoop of your favorite ice cream for only a dollar 31. Baskin Robbins. More flavors. It just keeps trying to connect and then it times out. And since he wasn't getting the necessary nutrients, my pediatrician recommended Pediasure. A source of complete balanced nutrition to help support healthy growth. Four, three, two, one. Meet the bed. No heartbeat packets received. Okay, when that happens, most of the time, what you're going to find out is the in, in uh, the inboard 3.3 volt regulator is burned out. It stresses you out. It calms you down. It helps you remember. It's the one thing you never want to be without. Now, again, you'll notice that none of the little LEDs over here are lighting up at all. They, they just don't light up. So what we do, what we're going to do here, is we're going to test the voltage. We'll get the multimeter out. And you want to be real careful when you do this. If I can get the voltmeter in the picture here, I'm going to set it for 20 volts. Thank you. Now, right here where your GPS and magnometer plug in, they only use these middle two pins. This pin over here on the inside is your 3.3 volt pin. This pin over here on the outside is ground. Your ground runs everything. Ground is ground. It doesn't matter if it's grounded from here, from here, from here, from here. Ground is ground. All of these outside rails are ground. Your center rails are hot. And then these inner rails are signal. Outside here is ground. Center rails are hot. Signal. So being the outsides are ground, ground doesn't matter. Ground is ground, so you're good to go. So, if we measure this, and you want to be very careful not to touch any pins except the ones that you're wanting to touch. We're going to come over here and touch this ground pin. I'm going to put this on the multimeter. And see, let me turn the backlight on. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. And touch this other pin. You see the voltage is only 0.21, or I'm sorry, 0.12 volts. It should be 3.3 volts, but it's only 0 0.12 volts. If you get any reading off of those pins other than 3.28 plus or minus uh, two hundredths of a volt, you know, depending on your voltmeter, then that 3.3 volt regulator inside the APM is burnt out. We're going to show you how to fix it. 
Now this is the 3.3 volt regulator that goes on the board. And you can imagine what a pain in the ass that is to solder back in. So I don't even bother with that. You have to take the board apart, get in there, desolder the old one, put this one in, and wherever it went, that's just too much trouble. What I'm using is these TO220 case 3 volt regulators. This is an LM1117-3.3 volt regulator. You probably can't see that on there, but it's LM1117-3.3. And what I like to do is, we don't need all of this out here, so I just cut these off. That's just extra stuff that's in the way, so we just cut those off. Now the bad part about these regulators is normally normally this pin is going to be your input voltage the center pin would be ground which would also make this ground then this is your output but that's not the way these regulators are set up on these regulators this is your input voltage this is your ground the center pin is your output, your 3.3 volts, but that also makes this 3.3 volts. So you want to be real careful when you're hooking this up that you heat shrink this thing and keep that from coming into contact with anything. Now I've already got one soldered together, and what I did... What I did was take a regular jumper like this and I pulled the white wire out because we don't need that signal wire. So I just took it out. And your ground from here, your ground here, your ground here, your ground here, they are all hooked on the same ground so you don't have to worry about that. So what I did was I ran the hot wire to the input voltage off of this connector the ground wire over here to this far left pin off of this connector and I power it off of one of these accessory pins over here, uh, accessory sockets over here. These are all accessory things. You use them or you don't. Then, if you'll remember on your compass and GPS, when you plug it in, it's only got two wires. This far right wire, your 3.3 volt wire, and this far left wire is ground. They're not even used on your GPS and compass unit. What I ended up doing was getting on eBay and I ordered a bulk pack of these. These little wire uh, assemblies here are designed for the I2C socket on the APM board. And they're generally made so that you can put uh, multiple sockets on the I2C port and plug in different things. So what I've done is lift up the little, lift up the little lock, and I pulled one of the wires out. I pulled out the red wire in my case. You can use any wire you want, but I pulled out the red wire. And I tied it to the center pin here on the three volt regulator. And that left me with this end. That I can now take 
and plug in to the port on my uh, magnometer. Now on the end of this wire, when this plugs in, you've got a hot wire coming in off of that 3.3. Uh, there it is off the 3.3 side and you don't have to worry about the ground side we're going to get the ground off of this plug so let's hook that up okay now I've got it hooked up just look at that sunset. If that's nothing but science, then why is it so damn romantic? Here's my 3.3 volt regulator. Now we'll plug this one up in here. And you'll see we've got this red wire coming. We're coming out of the 3 volt regulator. Come out of that 3 volt regulator on that center wire. Follow that one down. And we are on the far right of the IC2 port red wire. And the ground is coming from over here on this side of the board. Now, when we plug it up, now you'll see the lights are starting to flash like they're supposed to. That's normal. That's the way it's supposed to be. And more importantly, when we go up here, now when we go to connect the APM, let's close that, connect, Mavly connecting, done, and there we go. It is now fixed. All the little circuits are getting their 3.3 volts that they need to operate properly. Thank you, Stan. Thank you for proving to me that God exists so I can have this. If we look back down at the best friend Everything's working. We stand the GPS unit up here. We'll get a GPS lock here in just a minute. And now you can see we've got a good solid GPS lock. So the whole point of this video is you could put in a bigger, stronger 3.3 volt regulator without ever having to take the thing apart. I'll put up a uh, description of the parts and links to where I got them in the description of the video and I hope this helps a lot of you guys out there because this sure was a pain in the ass for me and then finally I just put a piece of shrink tubing over the entire thing because again the back side of this voltage regulator is hot 3.3 volts out you don't want that touching nothing so I left a little sticking out put some two-sided tape on there I use carpet tape because it's some pretty sticky stuff and then just fold it over on itself mash it down there real good and now it's protected and now you can put some velcro or whatever you want anywhere on there and mount this wherever you want get it out of the way I may mount mine right on top of the APM haven't decided yet but the 3.3 voltage regulator is fixed good luck guys hope you appreciated it and hope it helps people